Today we are talking about identifying position words on a stationary object. That's a big mouthful. Basically, we're talking about the front of things and the back of things. Now, we already know how to find the top and the bottom of things. For example, if you look at this Anna doll right here, can you find the top of Anna? The top is her head, right? And the bottom of Anna, that is her feet. What if I flip Anna upside down? The top is still her head and the bottom is still her feet, no matter what position she's in. She has a top and a bottom. But did you know she also has a front and a back? Just like you have a front and a back and I have a front and a back. So where is the front of Anna? This is the front of Anna. You're looking at the front of Anna, right? The front of Anna has her face and her chest. This is the front of Anna. Just like if you look at yourself in the mirror, when you're looking at your face, you're looking at the front of your head. And if you turn Anna around, now what are we looking at? We're looking at the back of Anna, right? The back of her head, her back, the back of her legs. So Anna has a front and she has a back. What if I laid her down like this? Where is the front and the back of Anna now? The front is still her face and the front of her body and the back is still the back of her head and her hair and the back of her body. It doesn't change. She has a top and a bottom and a front and a back, no matter how you hold her. That is the same with a lot of different things around our house. I'm gonna show you a couple other things that have a front and a back, a top and a bottom. So what about this book here? Can you tell me where the bottom of the book is? Mm, the bottom of the book would be way down here. We know that this is the bottom of the book because the pictures are all standing the right way up. The words are not upside down. So this down here this is the bottom of the book. So then where is the top of the book? It is way up here, right at the top. This would be the top of the book. So then if this is the top of the book and this down here is the bottom of the book, then where is the back of the book? You can go get a book right now if you would like. And you can look at the top of the book and the bottom of the book and try and find the back of the book. The back of the book is right back here. It's the back cover. It's the back because we know that the front has the title on it. The front has the picture on it and you read a book from the front to the back. We always turn the pages the same way. We can't read a book upside down. We can't read a book from the back to the front. Our book would not make any sense if we read it from the back to the front. No matter what way you hold this book, it still has a top and a bottom, a front and a back, just like our bodies. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to look around your house, maybe go outside your house and see if you can find the top of your house, the bottom of your house, 
the front of your house and the back of your house. Talk about what kind of things are at the top of your house and at the bottom of your house, in the front of your house and in the back of your house. Hmm. I hope you guys have a lot of fun identifying position words on a stationary object and have a great day. Bye.